Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak to your organization. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and IFPS. The IFPS was started in 1960 by a group of professionals interested in supporting the future of the fluid power industry and the ever-changing technologies involved. Since our first certification was released in 1980, the IFPS has become the industry leader in fluid power and motion control certification and training. We currently offer 15 certifications with another in development. As for me, I have been working in the fluid power industry for over 25 years. I joined the IFPS in 2002, and I've been their executive director since 2003. During my tenure with IFPS, I've gained knowledge of hydraulics and pneumatics and the importance of their proper design, installation, and maintenance. I am responsible for the day-to-day -day operation of IFPS and the development of our certification programs. And I am very happy to be here today to speak with you and to be the first to wish you a very happy Fluid Power Professionals Day. Let me tell you a little bit about the certifications IFPS offers. So we have mechanic and technician level certification for mobile hydraulic, industrial hydraulic, and pneumatic. We also offer our connector and conductor certification. That's a hose and tube assembly certification. And each of those certifications requires you to take two separate tests, a written test and a hands-on job performance test. And then we have a specialist level test for hydraulic, pneumatic, and electronic controls. And those certification tests require just the written test only. And then we have our engineer and system designer certifications. And those certifications require some prerequisites, uh, some certification prerequisites, as well as an application um, and committee approval. You would you also need to um, hold a, a, um, um, a degree in engineering for our engineer or proven design experience for our system designer certification. And then we offer our accredited instructor and authorized job performance proctor certifications. And those also require some prerequisite certifications as well as attending a workshop and committee approval. We have advanced level certifications. And how the advanced level certifications work is that you would obtain certain different certifications to get to that master level. For example, if you take that first um, vertical column, you would need to obtain your connector and conductor, your um, industrial hydraulic mechanic, and your industrial hydraulic technician certification to get to that master of industrial hydraulics. And you know, as you can see from the vertical and horizontal paths, that you can earn several master certifications in our um, me mechanic and technician level. We also offer the same for our specialist level, just for the hydraulic and pneumatic specialist. So if you obtain your hydraulic specialist and your pneumatic specialist, you're considered a certified fluid power specialist. So there are some benefits, uh, obvious benefits, to obtaining a, um, uh, an advanced level certification. Uh, one being that it's, you're proving that you, you are familiar with fluid power technology um, and you've been verified through a third party vendor neutral test. But the other benefit is that um, you save money when you go to recertify. So when it comes time to recertify your certifications, you only have to recertify that, that advanced or master level certification, which can, if you have multiple certifications, can save a significant uh, amount of money. So let me just give you some facts about our certification program. So as I mentioned earlier in my intro, our first certification was issued in 1980. Uh, we have about a little over 10,000 active certifications right now, um, but we've issued over 43,000 certifications since 1980. And so you might ask yourself, well, why aren't there 43,000 certifications currently active? And that's um, due to people leaving the industry, whether they retire, whether they decide not to recertify, um, whatever the case may be. But we have um, over 10,000 active right now. All of our tests. Uh, when they are developed, uh, they are psychometrically evaluated, 
they meet defensible standards so that, and what that means is um, if, if ever you're taken to court and you have someone who's certified on your staff that may have um, been involved in, in an accident or something, proving that you have someone certified through the IFPS um, allows that defensible standard. Our average pass-fail ratio for all of our certification tests is 70% pass, 30% fail. And it does vary a little bit from um, each certification. Some additional certification uh, facts. All of our certifications are developed using industry subject matter experts. Uh, we, the staff does not um, develop the material that goes into the certification, we gather the best practices that are out there in the industry really worldwide to develop our certification materials. Um, they're also written at, at a level specific to each certification. So we have study manuals or guides that help people to prepare for the certification and they're written at the level that the certification uh, is offered. Um, and again, all the material in the study manual is defensible because we take it from industry uh, best practices. Um, all of the test questions are gleaned from our study materials. So in essence, if you really prepare by reading and studying our, our, the materials that we provide to you, um, you can obtain your certification on your own. You don't need to do any review training. So we also offer safety information there throughout each one of our um, study manuals. And then we also do have some uh, um, safety test questions on, um, on each of the certifications. So some information um, that you might want to know that um, uh, our certifications are internationally rec uh, recognized. Um, we have given over 1,100 tests taken outside the United States. Um, all of our certifications are portable. And what we mean by that is even if your company pays for your certification, you own that certification. And if you, if you work for one company and obtain the certification and you leave that company and go to another, then you, um, that's your certification to take with you. Uh, certification review training, we do offer it virtually. I understand that the uh, Fluid Power Society of India is working to um, have a certification review training program live there in India. So I'm sure that the, um, the people who run that organization will give you more information about that. Uh, but certification review training is optional, although it is very helpful uh, to someone to prepare. And our written tests can be done almost anywhere in the world. Uh, the job performance tests are another story, and maybe we'll get into that in, in a little bit. So who, who certifies? Who have we um, worked with over the years to get certified? Well, we have fluid power manufacturers, distributors, OEMs, and users, and you all know that the fluid power industry really does span many different industries from agriculture, mining, uh, aeronautical industry. And so really fluid power touches many, many industries. So um, you can imagine that our, our industry is huge because it, it's not just the small fluid power industry that we certify. So some of the, just give you an example of some of the people who certify. There are major manufacturers, which I know you're all familiar with, with like Rex Ross and uh, Parker Hannafin, Eaton, Sun, Danfoss, Bimba, SMC Norgren, these are, and there are many more manufacturers that certify, but these are some of the more popular names that you probably recognize. Now, some of these names you may not recognize, but there are hundreds, hundreds of fluid power distributors that certify, particularly in the United States and Canada, but really all over the world. And these are just some, uh, some of the uh, fluid power distributors. You may or may not recognize those names, but I'm sure that you'll recognize some of these original equipment manufacturers like Caterpillar, John Deere, Volvo, um, Altec, Terex, uh, Case. These are, all of these uh, companies have certified, uh, particularly in the mobile hydraulic mechanic certification. And then of course, um, end users, I'm sure you recognize some of the names on there, but the US Army, Navy and Coast Guard uh, do certify, particularly again in, in the um, mechanic level certification, but we also have some engineers certified 
through the uh, the military in the United States, Boeing. Uh, of course, you know, if you, you, I'm sure you've all flown on a Boeing uh, piece of equipment. Verizon, uh, in, in the United States, we have the Departments of Transportation that certify. But most interestingly, in the United States, 85% of all electrical utility companies in the United States certify mobile hydraulic mechanic, um, particularly those who use uh, Altec equipment. So, you know, where, where have, have uh, we offered sort of those 1100 tests that we've offered outside the United States? This is a list of where we have offered the tests. And this, this particular list is in order by the number of certifications that we have given. So obviously the United States is the most popular in Canada, but Australia, India is number four in the list. So absolutely, we can get a certification test to you in, uh, in India, we can work with you to arrange for that. It does need to be a proctored environment. So I'm gonna focus a little bit on our certifications. Uh, first off, the, the specialist level certification. We offer a hydraulic, a pneumatic, and electronic controls, as I mentioned earlier. Again, uh, it requires a written test only. It can be done online, as I mentioned, anywhere in the world, and particularly in the US, we still offer that paper, pen and paper test. Um, each of the specialist level uh, certifications have 50 questions. You are permitted to bring any copywritten bound materials into the test with you, references um, that will help you to answer the questions, but they must be copywritten and bound materials. You need a 70% to pass, or in other words, 35 questions answered correctly in order to pass the certification. Um, we offer, when you apply for the certification, a free copy of our study manual. It's a PDF copy that you can download immediately upon applying for certification, but you may also um, purchase a, a printed manual that would be mailed to you um, in printed form. So our mechanic, technician, and connector and conductor certification, they're a little different. They require you to pass two tests. The written test, which can be done anywhere in the world um, in a proctored environment, but also a hands-on what we call a job performance test. Now, those are a little bit more challenging to get, uh, but I'll talk about that in a minute. So again, same, you need to uh, a 70% pass. Uh, we offer the free electronic uh, copy of the study manual. And again, you can purchase a print manual if you, if you prefer that. The same with our, um, our, our the written test for the mechanic and technician. Those uh, are a little different than our specialists. These are 75 questions. Um, again, we offer it primarily in the United States, pen and paper, um, but online. Uh, you, again, can bring any copy uh, written bound materials into the test and you do need a 70% to pass uh, or in other words, uh, answer 53 questions correctly. Now, the job performance test, um, it, it has six stations to it, um, and it must be proctored by a, uh, an authorized proctor with an approved kit. Uh, we do have a kit in Australia, Western Australia, but we also have um, job performance proctors in the United States and Canada. And I have had some discussions with um, the powers that be at the Fluid Power Society of India uh, to try to get a, a, a proctor in India and a kit in India. So that may uh, happen uh, before you know it, but you will be made aware of that uh, when it does happen. So you may ask yourself, well, you know, why? Why should I certify? Why should I have the people who work for me certif uh, cert certified? And the answer really is safety, safety safety, personnel safety. Um, all of our certifications have integrated safety within them. And of course, we, went, we want the people who work for us and, and also ourselves to be safe and knowledge equals safety. So, you know, you can see as I um, flash through these, we have safety tips throughout our certifications. Each and every one of them offers um, safety tips uh, because, as I mentioned, and I don't think you can mention it enough, personnel safety is paramount over anything else. 
there are other reasons why you would want to certify. We believe that personnel safety is the number one reason, but it also helps with downtime, um, uptime, uh, the proper um, design of, of, of fluid power systems, um, you know, on and on. I'm sure your common sense would tell you why you would want to certify. So you'll ask, you know, yourself, what's the investment? What will it cost me to certify either myself or the people who work for me? So I'm going to give you um, a few examples. These are all in U.S. dollars. Okay. So if you want to certify as a specialist, a fluid power specialist, a hydraulic, pneumatic, or an electronic control specialist, you can purchase a membership, an IFPS membership that is $75 a year. Um, once you are a member, you would pay $299 to take the test, $374, okay? If you decide to not purchase a membership, it's $475, so obviously you save $100. Now, again, um, membership is not required. Certification review training is not required. So really, the, the investment would be either $374 if you decide to, to purchase a membership, or $475 if you decide not to purchase a membership. Now for the mechanic and technician and the connector and conductor, again, if you decide to purchase a membership for $75 a year, you would pay $199 for the written test and, and $160 for the job performance test. So the total is $434, but if you opt to not purchase the membership, it's $554. So obviously there is a savings there if you, um, if you want to uh, um, purchase a membership. So in the grand scheme of things over five years, it's about $6 a month um, to be certified through the IFPS. But we do offer what we call commitment packages to companies. And we would offer the same thing through the Fluid Power Society of India. If, if the Fluid Power Society of India wanted to purchase commitment packages for their members, they can certainly do that. And they start at 10 individuals and go up to you know as many as you want. And obviously, the more people you certify, the bigger the discount. So this it ultimately is a big savings if you do commit to certifying uh, a minimum number of people, which would be 10. So what is critical for success is preparation. Um, over the, the 20 some years that I've been managing the IFPS, I have learned that some people um, do not take the certification test as seriously as they should and then um, they're not successful. So preparing for this certification is key. You do not want to set yourself or the people who work, your, work for you up for failure. So again, as I mentioned before, you know, we don't require any specific prerequisite. You don't have to have a number of, you know, years in the industry. You don't have to take a class or a course or a review training um, session, but you do need to prepare. These tests are not easy. They are pretty um, high level tests, but we do offer you the perfect solution to that. And that is our study material, our study manual. Um, if you prepare by reading that manual and really getting to know the material in it, you can be successful. Obviously, you know, reading a, a flat book may be difficult for you. There may be concepts that you're not quite sure about. And that's where certification review training comes in handy. And I'm going to I'm going to go over in the next several slides some things that IFPS offers that can help you to prepare. As I mentioned, I know that the uh, Fluid Power Society of India is working toward having a, a review training session for you that would help you to prepare for certification. So, as I just mentioned, IFPS offers many tools for your successful um, certification journey. Uh, the first would be, um, or as I mentioned before, the self-study, that very top bullet item there. Um, our study manuals are the number one tool that we offer. The second would be some um, interactive study manuals. And these are online, done at your own pace. Um, currently, we offer them for the hydraulic and pneumatic specialist only. So just give you some more details about that. As I mentioned, it's at your own pace. <clears throat> we have uh, circuit schematics that are color-coded 
animated, they have voiceover, give you a description, and I'm going to go into that a little bit um, as well. We have full color graphics in our um, in our interactive study guides, and we have chapter review questions, and they're interactive. So you get through a chapter, and we ask you a series of questions. And if you answer the series of questions correct, then you know you've grasped the information, you've mastered that chapter, and you can move on to the next chapter. So it's quite nice to have this at your own pace. Um, it's all voiceover, so you will hear um, a, a, an instructor um, explaining the material that's in the study guide to you. So if you're an auditory learner, it helps to hear the material, then this really would be helpful for, uh, to you. And then we also offer three ad additional online pretests within our interactive study manuals. And I'm going to get into what our online pretests are in a few minutes. And then it also contains some additional video and explanations that are not covered in the printed manual really kind of going into more detail about it. As I mentioned before, the printed manual covers everything that's on the test, but the interactive study manual goes into a little bit more detail. So um, once you purchase the interactive study guide, you have, uh, have it available to you for a year. It's $349. And if you want to purchase a number of them for people that work for you, we do offer bulk discounts. You would just contact me about that. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, our color-coded circuit schematics that are animated, they're integrated into our, um, our uh, interactive study guides, but we also offer these animated circuits as a separate product that you can purchase on our website and download immediately. So I will, um, right now we have 37 hydraulic circuits seven that are specific for mobile, and then we offer 14 pneumatic circuits. And again, you can purchase a flash drive, but right now it's just so easy to download the whole package. Once you purchase it, it's available immediately to you in your, um, in your, uh, your account on our website. So here's an example of um, one of our um, hydraulic circuits. Pressure reducing circuit in idle position. Shifting the directional valve exposes both cylinders to the pump flow. The cylinder with the lightest pressure requirement extends first. When the cylinder with the pressure reducing valve bottoms out, the max pressure will be less than the system pressure on the other cylinder. When both cylinders are stalled or bottomed out, the main relief opens to limit the system's maximum pressure. When retracting, nothing controls which cylinder would retract first other than their load conditions. Now, um, here is an example of one of our mobile hydraulic mechanic, our mobile hydraulic uh, circuits. The circuit shown represents the boom and bucket cylinders and their associated valving. The circuit is supplied by a fixed displacement pump with a main system relief valve set at 21 MPA, 3000 PSI. The flow is supplying two directional control valves with a closed center, which respectively supply the bucket cylinder and the two boom cylinders, allowing them to be extended or retracted as necessary during operation. Each cylinder in the circuit is equipped with circuit work port reliefs set at 22.5 MPA, 3,250 PSI, which only come into operation if the machine is overloaded and the directional control valves are in the center position. In any other position of the directional control valves, the main relief would actuate instead of the circuit work port reliefs. Each directional control valve is equipped with a load drop check valve, which is used to prevent the load from settling during the transition of the different valve positions. 
The bucket cylinder is also equipped with anti-cavitation check valves plumbed in around the circuit work port reliefs. The typical operation sequence of this circuit is that the bucket cylinder is retracted to secure the load in the bucket. Let's watch the circuit as it is set in motion. The boom cylinders are extended as necessary to obtain the desired height of the bucket. The bucket is then dumped by extending the bucket cylinder. As the bucket goes over center, Gravity will try to pull the cylinder rod and piston ahead of the pump flow being supplied and the cap end of the cylinder may try to cavitate. The anti-cavitation check valves allow flow from the reservoir to fill the cap end and prevent cavitation. Transisting with the bucket full and raised may cause load-induced movement of the bucket, bouncing, which would possibly cause either side circuit work port reliefs to actuate and the anti-cavitation check valves would supply the necessary makeup fluid to the opposite side. As you can see, they're very detailed animations, uh, very helpful uh, for people to understand how specific circuits work. And again, we offer these on our website. <clears throat> so it's a flash drive or it's also a download, um, but they include the animations uh, themselves that you saw the animation, the voiceover animation, which I just showed those to you and then detailed circuit operation uh, information. So uh, each of these, again, can be purchased on our website. Um, the 37 hydraulic circuits are available for $199, uh, and that includes um, the mobile. Uh, if you wanted to buy the mobile only, uh, the seven circuits are available for $75, and then the 14 pneumatic circuits, which I didn't give you an example of the pneumatic circuits, but we do have 14 of those can be purchased for $149. But all of those are integrated in our um, interactive study guides. So going on additional um, tools for success, um, I talked a little bit about um, um, certification review training and IFPS does also offer uh, certification review training online. So we could do that for you in India. Um, we wouldn't send an IFPS accredited instructor to your location, but we would do it on, online at on a customizable uh, basis. So if you would prefer that um, you did two hours, uh, three days a week, or whether you did um, you know, a concentrated eight hours a day for four days, whatever it is that you want, we can certainly customize an online certification review training package for you. It is English only as our tests are all in English only. They are um, a, a combination of imperial and metric units. So I, I just wanted to make you aware of that as well. Now, I had mentioned earlier about our pretests. So the pretests are a terrific tool to help you to measure whether you're ready to take the test. We offer one free pretest online. Uh, but all of our study manuals have three or four pretests in the back of uh, back of the book. But the online pretest um, can be done right from our website. Now, I, this video goes pretty quickly, so um, I'll, I'll play the video. But you can see where you can locate our pretest on our website. And you can see exactly what you'll need to do to take the pretest. You need to um, fill in your name and your email address. And this particular pretest is for the pneumatic specialist. Um, as you can see, I, you know, I made the video go much more quickly, but there are 18 questions and you're given one hour. So that's really a good measure of um, 
how the, the, the test will go. So obviously this is one third of the test questions on a specialist level and you get one third the time. So if you take these 18 questions and you pass, then you know you're ready to take the certification. If you take the, this pretest and you fail, then you know, you, you know you'll need to do a little bit more study. But as you can see on the screen there, uh, it will tell you whether you got the question right or whether you got the question wrong and then what the correct answer will be. So it's a really nice little tool to help you to measure whether you're ready to take the test or not and give you the feeling of what it would be like to take our online tests. And then we also offer what we call core competency reports. And this is when you take the test. And we offer these reports whether you pass or you fail the test. But if you fail, particularly, it gives you an idea of where you need to go back to study. So again, it'll tell you what you've earned. Uh, obviously, this person earned 41 points um, out of a possible 50. Uh, so they got an 82% they passed. But as you can see on the bottom there, it tells you, you know, ex sorry about that, exactly what areas you got specific grades in. So, you know, this person did very well, but um, this, this section where they didn't do uh, as well as the others would be the analyzing and the troubleshooting of hydraulic system. Now, if you would have failed your test um, and you would have maybe gotten, say, a, a 60 or a 50 in a specific area, then you know, okay, I want to retake the test. I need to prepare particularly in that section of the study manual. So I think they're very helpful. And again, we offer a plethora of books, uh, technical training, uh, uh, technical workshops, online uh, training. We offer many free web seminars. So I highly encourage you to become a member of IFPS and then all of the web seminars are offered to you for free. We've, we have, I think there are something like a hundred already pre-recorded that we've, oops, sorry about that, that we've been doing um, for the past 10 years. So just having those industry expert web seminars are, are, is a terrific value for the $75 that you would pay to become a member of, of IFPS. Um, but we do offer uh, it, it, our, our very recent release, our Fluid Power Reference Handbook. Uh, I'm going to play a little video, a promo video about our Fluid Power Reference Handbook. Um, we've sold over a thousand copies of this book in less than a year. Uh, we continue to sell them every day. It is what we think is a must have. So I'm going to play a video um, showing you a little bit about our Fluid Power Reference Handbook. You haven't purchased your copy of the latest must-have reference handbook for the fluid power industry? What are you waiting for? What you will find in this handbook is everything a fluid power professional needs right at your fingertips and in living color. The full color index coordinates with section tabs on each page, making it easy to find the information you're looking for in this 380-page ultimate resource. Sections include safety, symbology, fluid power data, fluids, fluid conditioning, connectors and conductors, reservoirs, compressors, prime movers, valves, cylinders, motors, semi-rotary actuators, vacuum, accumulators, control theory, troubleshooting algorithms, pumps, and a glossary of terms. Don't wait, order your copy today. Discounts are available for 10 or more books, and as always, IFPS members receive a discount. Visit www.ifps.org to order your copy today. So as you can see, it's a very comprehensive um, a reference book that we think that anyone who works in the fluid power industry should have. So that's all I have for you today. I, I'm sorry that I couldn't be there live in person, but if you have any questions, uh, we have a lot of answers on our website, ifps.org, or please feel free to email me at dpollander at ifps.org. It's right there on your screen. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. And I thank you sincerely 
uh, for, for allowing me to present to you today and talk about uh, something that's very passionate to me and that's fluid power and um, particularly fluid power certification. Again, I want to wish you a very happy Fluid Power Professionals Day. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much.